What's up, everyone? Leland Baptist here, and I want to go over something that's important that's going on in the news. So, unless you have been under a rock or just oblivious, um, you can't run from the fact that housing prices are increasing, right? And so, great article here by Morning Brew. I'll share that link with you guys in the description. Um, and but Morning Brew is something that we use for our company. I use also and some of my family and friends use it in reference to get a lot of the investor news and really cuts the, cuts the clutter, right? So a story that I want to share with you guys is basically about the U.S. home prices. Now, we all know that prices are going up, but I want to caution people who are out there seeking deals right now, especially if you're look, looking for deals um, that are in relation to real estate, especially looking for deals that are in relation to uh, rental properties, all right? So... Um, such for residential rental properties. So prices have been creeping up anyway before the pandemic, especially with apartment buildings. Um, anyone who knows that, you know that it's been harder and harder to find um, apartments, right? I mean, one time, uh, me and a partner of mine, we drove to a city called Anderson, which is north of Indianapolis, Indiana. And we actually started to go through um, a property that was completely vacant. Um, the roof was flooded uh the basement had um <clears throat> mold thicker than you know my cell phone right it was horrible and at that point they wanted like maybe 200 200 grand under a million for the for the building right and whoever would have would have purchased that building they they wouldn't have had parking that's the first thing they would have had to replace the entire roof possibly had some foundation issues um, mediation obviously in the basement um, there was a gas leak in the property and um, they would have had to invest into all new windows all in all we looked at it we, we, we used the the, uh, the renovation sheet and it basically boiled down to um, you have to put in like three million dollars just to get that property back to snuff and here's the one I precaution people if you're out there looking for properties right now Obviously, the prices that someone paid for a property 10 years ago, even five years, years ago, then unless in, in specific markets, it's not going to equate. All right. That's the first thing. So what I want to tell you guys to do is when you're looking at a property, think about the cash flow, because that's hopefully the pur purpose that you're looking to buy that property. Second, think about the exit strategy. The exit strategy can be different, obviously, for different people depending on where you are financially and what you want to do with it but i want to precaution anyone from overpaying all right it's not wise to pay at the top of the market as a matter of fact it's not wise to even get into a bidding war because as more as more and more people are making foolish decisions and choosing to overpay um in the long term they're going to find out that they can't debt service so although rents are increasing, although people are, you know, doing all this extra stuff to to uh, to make property more attract more attractive, just because you own a piece of property, but if it's not profitable, it's not worth owning, right? It's not worth having. So please, 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 do not overpay. Once again, look at what could it possibly cash flow look at what what could the exit strategy be upon you purchasing that property lastly look at the debt service all right the debt service is a huge huge factor um if you're someone who's looking to purchase something that you're going to live in i would suggest you guys look at look at a duplex if you're someone that's going to uh looking to grow your investments or just add an, another piece of property or investment property to your portfolio i would look for something that's going to be uh, that's gonna have a slight value add or possibly stable. Do not, please do not overpay for uh, for these properties because what will end up happening is that later on, whether it's this year or next year, as you as you have that alligator, they call it alligator arms, right? As, as you have that property that ends up being an alligator, that property that, that you end up having to put more and more money into every single month, you're getting very little to no prof profit. What's gonna happen is as the market cools down and as the market eventually slides backwards and and you know as rates increase okay meaning that now people can afford less of a property as um as defaults continue to increase meaning that you're going to have more um foreclosures and more sheriff sales 
and more auctions on property, that will cause most properties value to decrease or to decline because there's gonna be more properties available in the market at a steeper or cheaper rate, okay? And then what that, what that could mean for you is that you're gonna be underwater, all right? And you're still gonna be underserved. So please, if, if anything, if you're not able to find the properties or the property that you want that fits your criteria or what you're looking for, then don't buy, okay? Then don't buy. If you still don't wanna listen to, to me in, in reference to not buying, fine. Go ahead, purchase that, purchase that property, but be aware that this is not gonna be the most profitable decision that, that you're making. Be aware that you're probably gonna have to put money in, into the property. Be aware that you're probably gonna have a lower return on, it, on your investment. Be aware of those things. So that's it. I wanted, to, I wanted to caution people, all right? I wanted to be honest with you all, be aware. Um, based on the article right here, from a national standpoint, properties have increased well over 11, 11%. If you're in uh, Phoenix, you know, you're basically looking at 16% of an increase. Mortgage rates are already going up. Mortgage rates, once again, are already going up, which means that that same person, if nothing has changed with their credit, if nothing, nothing has changed with their income, that same person now qualifies for less of a property, less of a property. Doesn't mean that the property is worse off, it just means that now they, they, they qualify for less. That is a clear indicator to me that there should be a reduction in many properties that are still on the market because obviously they weren't purchased uh, beforehand, all right? If you know someone who's looking to purchase property, maybe investment property or even uh, a personal home, please caution them on not overpaying. All right. I know we don't have a lot of inventory right now, but that does.